Hey down this is Dave Desai, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are well, and I hope you are staying hydrated and cool. Today I want to talk about what has been going on on the internet with Rosé and Suga. There has been some conversation around the two, and what they may or may not be doing. I have some opinions on this. I also want to get into the recent news of Bang PD not being CEO anymore, get into his statement and why people are saying he could be forced to step down. I also have a lot of thoughts on this. So grab your dumpling, a tea spilling mug merch, and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in some of this stuff, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be first to be a hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also so you can be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. In today's story, there's a lot going on with Suga and Rosé. If you aren't aware, Suga is someone who has collabed with a lot of female artists outside of BTS and probably has only done a handful of male artists. And all the songs have been wildly successful. He's a great rapper and producer. So it becomes very easy for him to work with any artist because even if they don't need a rapper or his voice, Suga is still an excellent producer that would be able to make an amazing track. People for the longest time wanted Blackpink and BTS to work together and do something. Obviously it doesn't really make sense for them all to do something as a group because then it would be one song with 11 singers and rappers. It's not unheard of but it's just a lot. Obviously we'd want all of them to have a part. But a lot of fans are mad even at this idea of Blackpink and BTS looking at each other. People are saying like Blackpink doesn't want to work with men or BTS hates Blackpink. All of this nonsense. That is simply not true. They would probably love to work with each other and it's just some people in the fandom are going to be mad, or a lot of people, I guess. And so they avoid each other like the plague. Since Suga has a track record of working with girls, and I guess Rosé still might be doing some solo work, immediately fans began to kind of speculate that Rosé and Suga could be together doing something, like making an actual track, either with Suga in there rapping or Suga on the beat producing it. It is more than possible, and I believe, I think, they'll make a track that sounds so good. And quite honestly, aside from the crazy few in the fandom, I don't see a reason not to do this. I think it's a good idea. I think their voices will blend so perfectly as Sugar is a great rapper with a husky voice and Rosé's voice is very loud and strong. It just would work. Recently a bunch of news companies and forums started to come out and talk about Sugar and Rosé's possible relationship and possible song, saying this is what the fans want and verify the likelihood of this even happening. Saying that if you look at Sugar's track record of several female artists, Rosé would be a good match and a good person to fit on that song list already. Of course most of the people that were excited were Bang Pink which is obviously BTS and Blackpink together. So most of us are just excited for any type of interaction between the two and any type of music. I do think this can possibly break huge records. I think people are going to die. I think I am going to die. Let me just quickly order my coffin. I'm kidding. I definitely want to see what people had to say about this online and what they think the possibility of this would be. One person wrote, To be honest, I would want that too. Sugar is a really great producer, lyricist, and rapper. Rosé would definitely be in great color, but it's going to be a bloodbath. This is kind of my opinion as well. I think it's going to be very risky for them and they might just not do it to avoid drama. I think the likelihood is actually really low due to this factor. Like if you consider all the previous artists Suga has worked with like IU and Halsey, neither of them have any sort of even remote drama between them and Suga. Like if IU and Jungkook did anything then they can prepare for drama and dating rumors. But since it was Suga and IU there were some dating rumors but for most people it's obvious that they just made a song together and that was the end of their relationship. And there were no dating rumors between BTS and Halsey from what I remember. I do think even less likely the collab will happen as BTS probably wants to get more into the American scene and work less with K-pop idols. Something no one talks about is how difficult it was for BTS to be acknowledged and accepted into American culture, but I don't think if you ever thought about it, Blackpink never had any problems, either getting radio play or anything. I always assumed it was because Americans love Asian women but hate Asian men. While I think that is part of it, I also think it has a lot to do with Blackpink's ability to speak English. They are able to make friends in the industry so quickly. Jennie is friends with Cardi B, Willow Smith, and Rosé is besties with Halsey and the creative director of Saint Laurent. While we don't really see BTS hanging out and being best friends with American top celebrities, aside from Halsey, I do think it's because it's difficult for BTS to speak with these celebrities and a lot of them keep it at acquaintance level. Whereas maybe Jenny meets someone at a party or press event and they exchange numbers, they probably text each other for months. When you're acknowledged in the industry by being friends with everyone in the industry, it makes it very easy to navigate and you just become accepted. People probably don't see Blackpink as four and Korean girls but see them as one of them. That's honestly my opinion and how I see the situation. If you disagree, I'd love to hear it. This is something I've thought about and theorized for a while and I'd love to know how you feel about it. But going back, I don't know the likelihood of Rosé and Sugar doing a song and it makes me sad. A lot of people were asking to get Bang PD to approve this and make it happen and of course if we see the label is behind this and of course see the label is behind this. I think both labels would be behind this if it didn't cause any drama. However, I also see it as if it does cause drama, what would happen? People are eventually going to have to learn to accept 
accepted. And if some quote unquote fans decided to leave the fandom over a collab, then better off. Those are not the people you want in the fandom anyway. But also, I don't think Bang PD would have any power right now to ultimately make this decision. I woke up today to see that Bang PD was stepping down as CEO of Big Hit Music and possibly Hive. I did read that he will still remain in the company, but probably not as CEO. And I can understand this. If you're the owner of a company, why would you want to be CEO? And if you're unclear about this, I was confused too. You can be CEO without owning the company. CEO is just a position in the company like any other employee. But most of the time, the CEO does own the company, but they don't have to. I can literally be CEO of Apple tomorrow. I am obviously not the founder or the sole owner of Apple. So you know Bang PD is making his money already and Hive has gotten so big. Anyone would probably want to step down and let someone who wants to deal with that stress to deal with it. They were talking about how they want aggressive growth of the company. And honestly, even just a year ago, Big Hit was still a very small company and now has surpassed probably all the record labels. So I can only imagine in such a short time the amount of stress Bang PD is under. Bang PD is still going to be making decisions for the board of directors, but he is going to be in charge of managing the music production, since that is what he is good at. Some people were in the comments of several news videos saying things like this. I hope he wasn't pushed down, that does happen a lot. This probably does happen, but I don't think so in this case. It just seems like such a stressful job, and he was an idol at one point who enjoyed making music and all that. He likely doesn't want to worry about the finance of the company and all that logistics boring stuff. He probably wants to go back into what he is passionate about and has always been, which is making music and probably working more closely with BTS. Bang PD did release a statement. He said, To Jin, Sugar, Rap Monster, J-Hope, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. When I first met you, all of you were so young. I found each of you at different times but all of you were so scared of something. None of you knew how to deal with me. You boys couldn't even look me in the eye, yet I was so strict with you all. It is because I am so greedy and have such high standards. I gave you all such hard time testing your limits, asking you why you can't believe in yourself. And when I push you places so far and unknown, you all were probably so exhausted, but you boys never failed me. You always found a way and went beyond my expectations. You soared higher than I ever imagined. Your fear was simply your desperation. The fear that made the boys practice all night long and destroy your own limits. But now I step back, I can see you getting better and better because there is no reason for me to raise my finger and point towards a place. With your own strength, you are finding your own path. But still, thank you. I wouldn't say I am proud of you just yet because I'm a greedy person. Let's hold on to that until the day you become the best group in the world. On June 12th, a year, no, three years later, one that day, I will look each of you in the eye and tell you personally from my lips that I am thankful you stayed by me and for bringing me here and allowing me to dream. I write this on May 2016th, a month before your third anniversary. Wow, amazing. As you can see, he has always been proud. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for joining us. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you like to see over there. Currently, we have almost 400 videos that are already up on there the moment you sign up. So if you're interested in any of those videos, as well as I do send out cards and engage with you guys over there as well. So if you'd like to be a part of all of that, link is in the top of the description down below. There's also a video over there that's free to watch that kind of talks about how you can support this channel even more if you would like to do that. With that, so there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video, so click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.